Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about a couple of things. We're gonna talk about the 8854 that I got resold, and we're gonna talk about how I store my boots. Uh, first, I'm wearing the 8824 round toe and the olive mohav. Breaking those in because I have yet to wear them, so I'm wearing around my place before I wear them outside just to give them the initial break in. So, I already reviewed these uh, with the Traction Tread Sole. Um, I'm not going to go into detail with uh, the boot because I already did that, but I never did an on feet with the uh, new Mini Lug Sole. So, this is the 8854 on the 23 last. Uh, and it has a resole with the mini lug sole. So um, let's go ahead and check out the on feet. Here we have the 8854s with a pair of salvage denim. I can't say that this is my favorite combination, but I always just like to put a pair of boots with uh, salvage denim. And the color of the boot really is nice, I must say. Um, it, it looks uh, a bit different in person and in natural light versus this um, LED light that I'm using. But they have a unique color and do stand out quite a bit from any other mock toe that I, that I do own. So then I paired them with uh, gray, well they're, I think technically they're called salt and pepper uh, chinos. They are uh, from J. Crew. They're a straight leg and they, uh, I think they look really good. I, I was kind of thinking what, what trouser would I pair the mock toes with and I think something gray kind of complements this it's called this is called navy and it's a rough out suede rough out leather um but to me it has like a grayish it's like grayish blue look so i thought a gray trouser would definitely complement them very well <clears throat> now as far as comfort and feel removing the traction tread when you walk and your impact heel toe you definitely feel it a lot more versus having that white traction tread sole, which kind of uh, relieves a lot of that impact when you're uh, walking. So uh, that's uh, the, one of the differences between the two, switching it out like that. But um, I feel like switching it made these boots a little bit more versatile and I can wear them, I can kind of dress them up versus I think when you have the traction tread, you can't really dress them up that much. Um, putting, uh, putting them with... Uh, a gray or salt and pepper gray whatever you want to call it trouser just wouldn't really work <clears throat> with a white sole so i think switching that sole just made these boots for me more versatile and i can and i can just wear them more as far as boot storage i keep every box the boot came in as you can see here this is the 9014 beckman in its original box and the box does have a little bit of uh, <laughs> wear and tear on it because these boots are older, or the oldest ones I have. Um, so uh, the box is kind of beat up, but I try to keep it in the best condition. I even have the original paper um, and even the original laces in the box. So uh, yeah, kind of dusty. <laughs> but anyway, so I recently wore the Beckman uh, last week, two days in a row. And what I noticed was if you see this crease here in the toe, that at, that I would say this is probably hour 10 of wear, wearing the boots. This little wrinkle here in the boot started to irritate my toe. So I took out the shoe trees that I had in another boot and placed them in here because I hadn't worn these in a while, just to give this a little bit more shape. So there's currently shoe trees in here, a shoe tree in here. And these are just, I have several shoe trees, but these are just some generic shoe trees because I have so many boots that I can't have, you know, uh, very expensive shoe trees in every single one of my boots. So these are just very generic um, shoe trees that I will put in, you know, I have, I, I won't tell you how many boots that I have, but <laughs> I, I do put uh, uh, shoe trees in the boots just to keep the shape, uh, especially the toe, because I want to keep some of it, some of them collapsed, and I really don't want that to happen, so I have these uh, trees in there. So, I'll show you. I, there's currently a shoe tree in here. Nothing in this one. And what I do is just put it in, 
Nothing crazy, nothing spectacular. Just throw it back in the box, in <laughs> the poor beat up box, and then it goes uh, in the closet. And that is how I store my boots. I'm gonna show you another example with my um, 8113 Hawthorne Iron Rangers. So you can see that there is this crease from wear and how it's kind of like has a indentation, which is gonna happen with boots that you wear quite often. But when you're not wearing them and you're storing them, like I haven't worn these in quite some time and I probably won't wear these because the weather's gonna turn and there's gonna be a lot of snow and salt and ice and I don't want that to be on this leather. So uh, just to show you this shape, so this is without a uh, boot tree in it, or shoe tree in there, and you can see the shape, let's put it against my darker sweater so you may be able to see how there's that uh, indentation there. Okay, so I'm gonna unlace these and put in just this shoe tree here and then hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in uh, the shape. And this is just a generic shoe tree, there's nothing fancy about this one, so let's go ahead and place this one in. So there it is, the it, shoe tree is in, and you can see how the shape of the boot has kept here. And you can store that for the next three months or so, four months, if you're not gonna wear them, just to keep that shape so it's not, you know, sunken in with any indentation, and it keeps for you for, you know, the next few months. So, there you go. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.